Hello, I'm Alice Baker and I'm the manager of the water team at Wiltshire Wildlife Trust. We're working with the World Landscapes team to create Great Crested Newt Ponds under Natural England's district level licensing scheme. Great Crested Newts have suffered serious declines over the last 60 years despite being protected under EU and UK law. This is mainly due to destruction and disconnection of suitable habitats. The aim of this scheme is to use conservation payments by developers to 100% fund the creation of these ponds that will provide suitable habitat for Great Crested Newts and will be monitored and maintained for the next 25 years. Alongside being really good habitat for Great Crested Newts, ponds support a huge variety of plant and wildlife species so they're wonderful biodiversity hotspots. Hi, my name's Chelsea and I work for the Wild Landscapes Project at Wiltshire Wildlife Trust. We're here today at Morningside Meadows, which is one of our nature reserves just outside of Royalton Bassett. And this is a site where we put in a Great Crested Newt Pond. January 2020 now, so just over a year ago, um, under the Natural England District Licensing Scheme. Um, and as you can see behind me, it's now a fully flourishing pond, which is starting to show some really great signs of wildlife and biodiversity. For a site to be eligible for the Natural England District Level Licensing Scheme, for either the creation of or restoration of a pond, certain requirements have to be met. The pond has to be a minimum um, surface area size of 100 metres squared, but that can be all the way up to 1,000 metres squared. The site has to be not within a floodplain and not connected to any river system nearby, primarily because we don't want transfer of any fish stock and we also don't want to really encourage uh, waterfowl species. The pond will also be down to a depth of around two and a half metres, uh, but what we try and create is a, a number of shallow bay areas as this is really important habitat for great crested newts. Any pond to be eligible under the scheme must fall within a core or fringe area on our mapping systems, but this is something that we can help and advise you on if you were to get in touch with us. Alice is here today to collect water samples for part, as part of our eDNA water survey, and this is part of the ongoing monitoring process to check to see whether any great crested newts have been present within this pond that was created last year. If you think you have a suitable piece of land or a pond that might need restoring to support Great Crested Newts, please get in touch either via our website or by emailing us at water at wiltshirewildlife.org.